Hi, I'm Scott. Today I'm going to show you how I put this self closure and repaired this gate on Dad It Yourself. Hey everyone, so I'm at my customer's house. We're going to work on this gate today. Uh, it's kind of weird. It swings out instead of in, but they want me to put a spring on it so it automatically closes and a latch because they run a daycare center here. And that's going to be a little tricky with the out swinging gate, but I think we can get a little creative with the latch and do that. The other challenge I have is the gate doesn't it hits. See that right there? It's got a tight fit right there. But I've got a pretty good size gap right here. So I'm going to actually take these out, move that over a little bit, trim up this gate, and uh, we'll see what happens. Let's get started trimming the gate out first. So I drilled and tapped two holes on each hinge, about three eighths of an inch over from the original. That should pull the hinge side over a little bit and then give me more room on the latch side. So the other challenge I'm facing here is these two poles, this one right here and that one over there, are not parallel with the gate. They're actually, with the angle, about four to five inches off. So when I close the gates, they don't want to line up with each other. So what I have to do is kind of put the gate in at an angle. So what I'm going to do is sink a anchor point right there and put a latch on this gate on this side gate over here this will be the permanent side and then the other gate will close against it then go ahead and take off this old hardware here so we can get these gates lined up So I picked up this 18 inch cane bolt from Home Depot. I'll have a link to this and all the other supplies I used in the video in the description below. I'm gonna install this on this gate. It's gonna go down into the uh, pipe I just put in the ground and that'll provide a fixed panel on this side so that the other gate can latch to it. So there's the cane hook all installed. Uh, I'm going to have to come in probably at a later date when it dries out. It's been raining for about three weeks straight and pour some concrete around this pipe in the ground to hold that permanently. But that should hold by now. It's over a foot straight now. So normally you would put the latch on the inside of the gate like this and then the gate would close into it with this. But because the gate actually comes from the outside, 
I can't put the latch on the outside. That wouldn't work very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the latch on the gate and the stud on the fixed panel, and then this will close into it. And that should work just fine. So the last piece of this puzzle is putting this torsion spring on so it'll push this gate closed. Let's go ahead and set the tension on this and check it out. So you increase the tension on the spring by turning this little nut right here clockwise and then there's this little bar that holds the nut. Well the weird part is this is like an inch or an inch and an eighth and I don't carry that kind of wrench but this pair of channel locks came in handy so that works now. This was a simple homeowner project that took me about an hour to repair. A little under $50 in hardware and it's done. I had some challenges with an older gate, wasn't lined up as well, a little rickety, but I made it work and this customer's happy. If you have any questions or suggestions, put those down in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notification. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in and the subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.